Well, doesn't look like much, but that's a hundred dollars in food. Well, today was payday, so I went out, picked up a few things. This was getting low. All the stuff you saw upstairs was uh, added to this. Um, I should have taken some video of what it looked like before. So I would say mm, it was like halfway empty. I don't know if I should ever do a tour on this or not, but lots of beans, oatmeal, canned corn, which um, honestly I never eat, so I'll probably won't ever buy that again. Uh, diced tomatoes, which come in handy for a lot of recipes, pear slices, dried fruit. Can't have a bunker without these things. Oh, chili, chili beans, sardines, tuna, more sardines, uh, spaghetti, peaches, ramen. You know, this actually solved the, um, hunger issue that they had in um, Japan post World War II. That was how instant ramen came to be made. Tomatoes, tomatoes, bag of rice, beets, ravioli, hell yeah! Uh, this is odds and ends. Pickles, beef, chicken broth, more beets, that braided milk. Cute. Picked up some sugar for making wine. Um, I think next time around I might might get some more soup that's getting low. Salt. I will never run out of salt. Uh, baby food. This is Zoe's little area. MREs, peas, peas on carrots, also have some spinach, more MREs, because uh, can't go wrong with that, and a bunch of wine, bunch of wine, bunch and bunch and bunch of <laughs> wine, and of course the uh, tobacco cellar. Which, um, eh, heck with it. We're three minutes in. That's filled. Oh, that's filled. That is filled. And that is filled. Plus, my drawer for basically Carter Hall. No, there's other stuff in there. So I did have an idea for something called the vault, and um, hmm. well, let's see here. Hold on. And with that idea, I went out and picked up this trunk, which I think was um, like twelve or fifteen bucks, something like that. I added the stickers. Anyways, so the idea behind the vault is stuff that I put in here, is stuff that stays in here unless, oh, I don't know, nuclear apocalypse, um, yeah, you know, end of the world type stuff. Zombies. Might as well smoke the good stuff if you're uh, dealing with zombies. So, inside... I have basically one of each of stuff that is either out of production or will soon be out of production. Presbyterian seems to come and go in the United States, so I added some of that. 
squadron leader is really hard for me to get my hands on so when I got a couple of them uh, I added one in here and then here's the good stuff deep hollow and McClellan black shag frog morton morton gray haven Oh yeah, Jolly Little St. Nicholas, because I bought two of those, Virginia Woods, Frog Morton, and this is actually in a jar and I need to move it in here, but um, this is the start of uh, the vault, as I'm calling it, and uh, Considering I'm not buying anything in the coming year, um, I might move stuff into this. Uh, the Dunhill, I do have two to three of most of these, except for the Navy Rolls, because that, that popped up later on at Smoking Pipes, and uh, I was only able to get two. Presbyterian. Yeah, so most of these I have doubles or triples of. And when eventually I do open the one that's um, for smoking, trying it out, I will um, make my decision, you know, do I <laughs> open the two out of three? Do I throw the second one in here? But uh, I think I might actually move some of this stuff over, add some uh, wine for maturing. Who knows, maybe this will end up being like the uh, post-apocalyptic um, pleasure locker. <laughs> have some drinks, have some smokes. Hmm, I don't know. Might be a good idea to have like a um, pistol or something in here. So anyways, um, yeah, so this is the start of the vault. And... Uh, yeah, it's looking a little empty, but uh, I'm going to work on getting her filled up in the near future, so. Hello, fellow pipers. It's been a surprisingly busy day. Somebody wants to say hi. Or not. It is almost 40 degrees outside. The little one woke me up at uh, 8 o'clock this morning. I was in bed at my usual 2. Today is payday. So, surprisingly, I had zero bills. Uh, waiting for me. Usually on payday, I sit down first thing in the morning, write some checks, put some stamps on envelopes, and place them in the mail. That didn't need to be done today. Which was kind of odd. So, instead, the first thing I did was I transferred some money into my savings. looked around and said, what is it that we need? Like we actually need. Well, I still have a full tank of gas. Did grocery shopping, you know, not even a week ago. Uh oh, what's going on? And then uh, I realized that the um, pantry in the basement is getting kind of low. So 
So after uh, cleaning at the brewery, making sure I get my uh, <laughs> 12 beers per week, um, took care of that, went straight to uh, Aldi, just one of our local, well, I don't want to say discount, they just have a different way of doing their business, but it is cheaper. Most of the canned goods I got today were about 49 cents. A few of them were, um, oh my gosh, like 80, 85 cents. So, um, you can get a lot for a little. I was also tired of the coffee that has been brewed every morning, which I bought. It was a discontinued brand. Gee, I wonder why. But it was the flavor and roast and um, that the wife likes. I haven't heard any complaints from her, but I need something different. So I'm smoking some Lane. Um, HGL, HDL, shit. It's the one that uh, Padre Piper enjoys. I think it's HDL. It's a lot like 1Q, but it has a little bit of uh, Perique, I believe. I've been smoking this on my uh, lunch breaks at work. Enjoy it. It's nice. smoke all right so things in the news that had me worried this week <laughs> GM is acting like an irresponsible bunch of assholes um, let's quick fire some points as to why this is because I know some people are gonna say well you know they've got to do what they got to do no no, 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 they don't. Um, they had $6 billion in profits this year. Does it sound like they're not selling cars? So they had $6 billion in profits. Hold on. They spent all of it on stock buybacks which is what a lot of these companies are doing. They're not giving out raises, they're not expanding products, production lines. It's not going to the little guy. It's these companies trying to consolidate to the point where they're more in control and in charge and that's all they really care about. Plus when they're buying back their own stock, the price of the stock goes up, which is what they want. So, in the last two years, ever since the, um, the corporate tax cut, GM took all that money, and in the last two years, bought $14 billion of their stocks back. Meanwhile, people are losing their jobs. And they're trying to say that the, uh, the cruise, their electric hybrid, isn't selling. I see those sons of bitches all over the place. I live in Michigan, okay? This is truck country, and I see cruises everywhere. So again, they're full of shit. It's just a car they don't want to produce. Canada and New Zealand, moving along, um... Remember that tweet that you got from Trump? 
They were doing that now. It's not from Trump, though. It's like their new emergency broadcast system. The weird thing is, it's like all of our allies, essentially, uh, are now on this schedule of needing to get this done by a certain day. And in Canada, when they did it, it was supposed to be nationwide. Quebec, for some reason, nobody in Quebec <laughs> got the memo. <laughs> so, uh, even Canadians don't like the French. But, uh, getting back to the point. Yeah, New Zealand. <sighs> Really low population, island country. I'm not exactly sure who they would piss off. Unless they, um, I don't know, unless the Australians got mad because people from New Zealand sound more Australian than Australian, uh, Aus, Australianers, Aussies. But I heard about that and I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, what, is there going to be an overabundance of uh, Lord of the Rings tourists in New Zealand that they can't handle? Um, maybe Flight of the Concords will get its uh, long overdue... Um, You know, it was a damn good show. Damn good show. Nobody watched it. Sons of bitches. That show being recognized for how great it was is long overdue. That's what I was trying to say. And then, of course, um, you know, everybody is finally talking about world stagnant economy, uh, China's economy is starting to putter out, artificially inflated, QE is over in the United States, and of course the same time that they get rid of QE is when there's the corporate tax cuts, so um, gotta artificially inflate the market somehow. And now that's coming to an end. So. That's the kind of stuff I'm worrying about. And people are saying, well, you can't, you can't look at GM and say that we're looking at a recession or blah, blah. It's just one company. Are these people not paying attention? Sears is about to go out of business. Lowe's is... Co closing, what, 50-plus stores. There's also a side company owned by Walmart and Lowe's that's uh, closing its doors. There's a lot of places that are closing. A lot of it has to do with online sales. But still, when your local economy is not supporting a store, they tend to go out of business. When they go out of business, more people lose jobs. Hmm. So, yeah. Have plenty of food. And I had... This is probably the last thing I'll bring up. Had a guy at work. We are uh, discussing who was going to be in each other's post trump trump uh mutant tribe. <laughs> Who's going to eat the tumorous rats with me? It's what, how I put it. And uh, one guy in particular said, uh, you don't like refried beans, do you? And I was like, no, that's, um, that's freaking disgusting. And I used to love them as a kid. Um, yeah, that was like one of my go-tos. It was easy to cook, you know, you just heat it up, slap it on a 
burrito roll or taco shell or something and chomp away. I don't like him anymore. Because I'm a man. And I grew up. And this guy was like, you don't like refried beans, do you? He's like, you're one of those, like, black bean people, aren't you? It's like, yeah, black bean, kidney beans, you know, occasional pinto bean, but yeah. He's like, I can't be in your tribe. Fair enough. So on that note, if you uh, don't want to be in my mutant tribe because uh, you enjoy refried beans, that's uh, your prerogative. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Keep on typing.